So let's take a quick look at how the live link works here inside of Twinmotion with the live link connecting Revit. So I have Twinmotion open here. All I have to do is go down and open up my Revit. If I have my model ready, I can just rotate around to confirm that the model is complete and it's exactly what I'm looking for. I can go through and just go over to the Twinmotion tab and click see in twin motion automatically it's going to open up twin motion and ask me if i want to add this to an existing project or if i want to make it a new project we want to make it a new project so select new project and click on ok and we're going to give the software a little time to uh, process and synchronize what we have from revit down to twin motion now for the ui it's relatively easy to understand how the ui works and for navigating the new UI, you have to hold down shift and rotate and that's the same way you hold down shift and rotate right here inside of Twinmotion. If you want to change anything, you can go all the way to help and click on navigation and change to the navigation that best suits what you want to do. Twinmotion Live Link is so amazing because what it does is it takes out all of the components which you've added here right inside of Revit. And recreates them and helps you uh, and cuts down your time of getting stuff you want to get done by say half percent in the next video we're going to be looking at how we can play with the materials after importing our files directly from Revit into Twinmotion or from any 3d app right into Twinmotion Hi, before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen, if you like what you've just seen, click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video.